But yeah, I wanted to check out... Uh, I've decided to try this game. Uh, there is a demo coming out for it on the 20th, on my B-Day. My birthday. And I can't wait to try it, but... Uh, you know, Star Ocean... I always am hesitant about like buying it and being like, eh, maybe it won't be that good. Uh, I looked up Integrity and Faithlessness, what it got on IGN, and I, I did like that game. I thought it was pretty decent, and IGN gave that game a 5.8 out of 10, like critically, and I think that was just due to like the game being super low budget, and uh, unfortunately those are the things that, that's something that's always going to be a part of Star Ocean. Uh, I'm just glad it still exists as a um, gaming franchise, and Square still gives a shit to keep making the games. So I'm actually going to buy this game and try it out. Yeah, I wanted to check out this trailer because uh, it's new, right? And I'm interested in getting the game now. But it's featuring Hyde. So Hyde is the singer of a very famous Japanese band called Lark and Seal. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, they're one of my all-time favorite bands. I worship that band. I'm talking like top four favorite music ever. Uh, Larkin Seal is one of those bands and he's the lead singer of it and he makes his own solo music now and he actually made a song for DMC5 that was really really cool he also was it Larkin Seal did the song for Devil May Cry 4 so it's really cool to find out that he's doing a song for the new Star Ocean game right to try and promote it and so I'm really excited to see what the new trailer is going to show off of the game but also like is this song pretty badass like I might end up listening to this like it might end up you know, on my playlist or my iPod, so... Damn, it's a six-minute trailer. This is pretty sick. Okay, let's do this. Any further violence will serve no purpose. Please, surrender. This isn't over. I am Lieutenant Mario L. Kenny of the Pangalactic Federation. You are under arrest for violation oh, she's the of Kenny? the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. She's the Kenny in this game. Yeah, real good friend. She's from the Astoria, the one that destroyed my ship. Dude, the main character seems badass. Would you mind telling us whence you hail? I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky, and I was forced to flee here. The kingdom of Osirius and the Veal Empire are on the verge of war. An unidentified developed planet holds some malevolent sway over Aster Four. Your efforts on that front will be in vain. I am not one to slink away in fear while my allies are in peril. Yeah, the mouth movement and all that is probably not going to line up, man. Very low budget it game. It is plain to see the Empire's armaments have undergone a drastic change. We are These games are pretty good. Fire from the Empire's naval battalion. As long as the Empire wields their power, the kingdom is doomed. You tell me the feds are in cahoots with the Empire? We do this for the Pangalactic Federation, for universal peace and prosperity. Surely a Kenny would understand. I hope to have you all at my side in the fight to come. You will give chase even into the sea of stars above? I will avenge you. Being free of gravity. Yeah, the story in Star Ocean game usually revolves around people from Earth. Down? Being characters in the party, either the main ones or side ones, and there's like a another advanced world. civilization that's an no, enemy no. of Earth another dimension. that's trying to mess with a planet that's maybe not advanced technologically or exploit something. Dude, I like the way he runs around. Scorpion, our hope was subtly yet irreversible. Damn, you just fight a mech. Infiltrated by Scorpion. Everything is in such chaos at present. It is nigh impossible to discern friend from foe. I swear to you that all I speak here is absolutely true, including the fact that she's got I blue hair, reminiscent of what uh, is this bull? Rena? We have Star no Ocean sufficient 2? proof that this ragtag band that follows you are not, in actuality, Imperial spies. I have a proposal, though I'm sure you'll reject it. Got a we little Zach Fear scar. Leticia and the others. You think that thing's dead, don't you? I doubt you understand. This is clearly beyond your kin. Those were no human. The evolution of humanoid races, huh? A monstrous invader that transforms people into something they are not. 
I would rather prefer death than allowing such a thing come to pass. From our perspective, that person would no longer be human. But the soul remains the same. Dearest Leticia. Dude, there's like samurai robot I guy. am sorry you must see your companion suffer so. What is wrong with you? You would truly condemn her highness, Letty, to death? Ronix J. Kenny. Set right, the foot hide song is beginning. Forbidden Planet Sticks. Claude C. Kenny violated your precious pact. As a result, our studies of symbometrics expanded greatly. Okay, so this is actually a really cool plot. They're kind of saying that... So Star Ocean 1 and 2 are connected. So in Star Ocean 2, there's a character named Ronix, right? And he ends up being the father of the character in the next game, Star Ocean 2, Claude. Star Ocean 2 is the biggest Star Ocean game. It's uh, like unanimous, unanimously the best game for a good reason. And they're actually saying that plot reasons due to what happened in 1 and 2, which are like the really good games of this series, is like what the antagonist is blaming, like what they did in those games to affect like what is happening in the story of this game, which is actually really exciting. History has proven that the law must be broken at times to move worlds forward. His heart is consumed with hatred and malice. Why do they arm themselves? Why do they fight? I ventured beyond the point of no return. Nothing more. Our aim is not to take life, but do not hesitate. Loyal knights of Osiris, follow after her highness. This dude is seeming. This dude seems like a third main character, like a like a not a Dothraki, but you know. I am come firm in my resolve. Yep, you got that right. Dude, the combat doesn't look bad. To stand against the menace, to defy them. The combat isn't usually bad. It's your Federation tech that's about to kill this underdeveloped planet's king. This old misfortune now serves as savior, both to you and your kingdom. Come, this rise from your despair. I swear on my life. It is over! The Empires! This is merely the beginning. They have long since passed the point of reason. If we are to right their misdeeds, we must fight. This is evolution. The greatest evolution in the cosmos! They dwell amongst the stars. Know that I wish for nothing more than peace and happiness. For you all as well. Come. I'm in, man. I'm in. I will give this a shot. I like Star Ocean 4. I like Star Ocean 5. Does it have the biggest budget in gaming history? No. Definitely not, but there's a lot of potential here. Demo available on my B-Day. Can't wait for that. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be streaming that for sure. You gonna buy this day one? Yeah. Yeah, I always end up regretting not... I regretted not buying the other Star Ocean when it came out, so... I'm feeling good about this. So I actually wanted to check out the gameplay of this. So I could fully understand it. From what I saw back in, I don't know, a few months ago, it seemed a lot like Remake. But I could be wrong. Like, you build up a meter and then you do a big attack. You have AP. Dude, I like the main character. I like where the story is going. The music is sick. Characters on the fly, yeah. Dude, this is like this feet. Dude, watching this and switching all the characters doesn't this feel like remake? This feels like the fluidity of switching and all that. Please be okay. Be kidding me. 
what is it? Elena, why? Ray. Why'd I have to play the hero? Why couldn't I just get in the damn escape pod? <laughs> Some captain I am. Dude, he might be voiced by Grant George. Ray! The Warrior of Light? I'm guessing he took an escape pod after his ship got attacked. Duma production model 004213 activating. Confirmed. Life forms in need of protection. Oh, hey. What the heck's this supposed to be? Warning. Warning. Hostile entities identified. Engaging defensive mode. Highness, are you all right? I believe so. But what? What yeah, is this? Later. Right now we we've got company. Yeah, you can fly in this game. You can fly across the map. Hey, Duma. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. All right, some of us aren't like completely familiar with this. Okay, Duma-based combat. All right, when Duma is with you, press R1 to perform special actions. This will consume the VA gauge. All right, so AP gauge, VA gauge. Holding down R1 will raise a barrier. Okay. This will neutralize all damage received from enemies. Any close range attacks will be repelled, causing that enemy to flinch. Fuck, dude. I'm trying to I'm trying to stop it in time. Okay, fuck this. I'm trying to learn. Okay, blindsiding is back. If you attack and draw the attention of many enemies, you can blindside a large number together. By changing directions during a VA attack, incapacity and defeat that group all at once. So this was cool because um, they didn't have this in Star Ocean 5, the previous game. But in Star Ocean 4, you could like have an enemy come at you and then charge up and then run around him to the back and blindside him. So now they're saying you can kind of like provoke a whole bunch of enemies at once and then blindside with, you know, the right timing, blindside the whole group and just take them all out, which is pretty badass. It's kind of like saving you time. Is that good? Okay, we're good on tutorials here. All right, let's turn, uh, let's turn everything back to normal. Yeah, I don't know if this is like not being captured in the best way, but um, I kind of hope the combat is at 60 FPS, especially on the PS5 version. So yeah, you don't have you don't have uh, MP anymore. You just have AP. So you build that off with light attacks. And you use a big one. What does that remind you of? Sounds pretty familiar. Decided to bring out the big guns, huh? Three will be ours. All right, multiple target areas. Okay, that's cool. How does AP recharge? Do you do it with light attacks or do you just wait? Okay, so you kind of wait. Yeah, I don't know if it builds with doing a light attack or anything like that. Yeah, man, this shit will win any uh, awards, but it seems like it's a pretty decent game. 
Look at that, you can go up on that head and do critical damage. Energy levels low. I'm thoroughly impressed. That flying shit, you don't just do that on the map. You do that in battle too. For real? The hell is this? I thought it was yours. More like in my care than actually mine. Hey, uh, Duma, was it? So, uh, what's your deal? Dude, I like how Square Enix so now is making these protagonists. Silent. Like, you see this dude? Why? You see this fucking main character, dude? Oh, God. This and, like, FF16 and, you know, 7 Remake or Trilogy, right, with Cloud. But they're making these new characters for these games that aren't these, like, pretty little skinny anime boys, right? Does he have an eccentric hairstyle? Yeah, but this dude is big, he's built, and he's got a broadsword, and I think he's also the leader of a ship. Right? Same thing with uh, Clive in 16. That dude's big. He's going to age. Like, these are get shit done guys. And it's really cool to see how the protagonists are shifting from, you know, eccentric hairstyle, 15, 16 year old boy to like, men. I really dig that. I've been waiting for that for so long. Like, now we're playing as men in these games, which is much more relatable, right? How you decide to give us the silence. At least for us guys. Why, it is just marvelous. Tell me, is this some new form of semiomancy? There's that word again. What, is it like your version of symbology or something? It's like, is it your version of magic? Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, thanks you two. I really appreciate it. Oh, and while I'm at it, here. And what will you do once we part? Well, try and figure out where my friends are, for one. These lands are vast. What will you do for lodging, for food, for survival? What if your companions are across the sea? Would you swim? To that end, Ray, I have a proposition for you. Assist us in our journey. And we shall assist you in yours. This is very typical of a Star Ocean sure plotline. Only thing you know about me is my name. The dude from Earth crashes onto a planet that's like... ...of, you know, medieval technology prowess. Right, and he has to figure out what's gonna happen. But then he ends up discovering that... ...you know, people that are fucking with Earth... ...are messing around on this planet, too. It's usually like the same plotline in Star Ocean. From Princess of Asarius. So this dude crash landed, and now he's gonna go with them because he doesn't have a plan. Oh shoot! I thought he was kidding when he called you Highness. Oh, you think us liars? Uh, put yourself in my shoes. I doubt you'd be saying anything differently. <laughs> Indeed. Not over far from these ruins is the village of Larset. There we shall find. If you're a in it for the story, then gameplays, talk. whatever. I'm in it for both at this point. With this story connecting to Star Ocean 1 and 2, which are, like, I, uh, might have to hold on very to influential story. games to me, Please me personally, Consider it that's a, a big deal. The trust we have placed in you. Uh, morning already? <sighs> well, this is a fine mess we found ourselves in. Think of this as something new. Something extraordinary. A prevail insufficient outcome. We must pass through the forest to reach the oh, Look at that traversal. Time offers us no respite. I know. I'll be quick about it. I love this because it's like, don't we waste our time. Battery. Don't make me run at one We're speed. Really 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 it might be why the game might end up running at 30. 30 FPS because huh. right it's a lot uh, to process be just a little way more to east but I hope the PS5 version well, is 60 call my FPS real quick before we head out 
Antonio, do you read me? Ray, loud and clear. Was anyone in the pod? Nope, just freight. It was one of the pods Elena ejected right before the Edis went down. Wait, she did the ejecting? Then... But I don't want to hear it, okay? As the ship's captain, I have to assume everyone on the crew is safe until accounted for, right? Yeah. Uh, for now, I'm gonna look for Chloe. And I'm gonna do it with the two from yesterday. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. But even if I didn't, they're reasonable people. Plus, they saved my life. That's enough for me. All right. I'm gonna try to get to you as fast as I can. Tell Dad not to lose any hair over it, will you? So one thing I'm wondering about with the story is, uh, when these Earth dudes land on these underdeveloped planets, they're not supposed to use advanced technology. Like, if somebody witnesses that, you're supposed to take them with you. And this dude's, like, flying through the air in front of them. I don't know if it's... I don't know if that's gonna be related to the story or not. Damn, dude. That was cool. That was actually really legit and cool. I can't wait, dude. Isn't it nice being pleasantly surprised? Like, I go into things, I'm like... Prove it, you know. Prove that this will be worth anybody's time. And this game actually looks... Actually quite good. Is it 60 bucks? Yeah, but you know what, man? I'm not gonna play anything for a while. Probably just Resident Evil 8. But yeah, I got this in Resident Evil 8 to buy me time until... Crisis Core Reunion? Yeah, it's going down. It's definitely going down.